brought up this video and then Anthony watched this video on his show with Chrissy and they did about an hour on it. They put that up on YouTube. So then Opie responds to the response. So we have a response to a response to a response and everyone was telling Opie like it's not that big a deal. Calm down. He's going to double down on the fact that he should be this upset about it. Fact is I, I don't go on dates. I, I love my wife. I've been out at the beach for two weeks, but this is why I got so mad yesterday because this is exactly what he was hoping was gonna was, was gonna happen with that video. So please stop. I'm asking you nicely to just stop. This is the garbage I got to deal with because I I decided to uh, you know uh, do a radio show with with literally a monster, an absolute monster. Hey, relax, bud. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> I met Ann a couple times. I didn't know he was a monster. Oh, a literal monster. Yeah, he didn't tell me. Well, he was under my bed for the most of the time. <laughs> Dude, because a guy looked slightly like Opie. Yeah. That's what this is. Holy shit. He didn't do anything to him. It was just a tweet. It was just a quick video. Yeah. The Missy shot. All right. Well. Keep uh, cucking it up, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, what we're going to learn here is that that tweet was not just a tweet. Because if you, all right, Cardiff, I know that you and Opie are, are BFFs, but mm -hmm. if you saw the person that you're best known for partnering with or a guy who looked just like him and you took a quick shot or, you know, photo or video, I mean, that's kind of interesting, right? You would tweet that. Sure. If I saw a guy who looked like, just like producer Chris, mm -hmm. maybe if the hair is not as good, but, you know, similar to you. I'd be like, hey, look at who I ran into, you know? It'd be fine. I don't think you'd be this upset. Harassment, that's all. Oh, yeah. No, this is <laughs> mm -hmm. this is an attempt to destroy everything that makes Opie happy, according to Greg Hughes. He never does uh, uh, He never does stuff as an innocent little thing when it comes to me. He always has something. He's trying to knock me down. By the way, Obnoxious John, I love that Opie just puts these comments up just leaves him there. He's an yeah, idiot. Yeah. Obnoxious John, OJ says, in all fairness, that guy did look like you. Yeah. It did. Yeah. That's why. That's why they put that out. That's pretty much the long and short of it. That's the long thing. and short of it. That's the why he didn't use your name, and everyone knew who he was talking about because yeah. he kind of looked like you. Trying to knock me down, <laughs> trying to destroy what makes me happy. He's just pure garbage. Opie, I think you're the one who destroys what makes you happy. Yeah, it sounds like he's talking to the mirror. Yeah, it's insane. He's trying to destroy what makes me happy. Why? Because he saw a guy that looked like you and thought he would tweet it out. As How a, dare you? That's a fun lark. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a goof. Oh, relax, buddy. Holy shit. And the fact that he doubles down after being called out, where it's like, Opie, what are you, you're overreacting. This is insane. And, and, and Chrissy was making a lot of good points, too, where you could tell this wasn't about this tweet. There is a lot of built up. And, and Opie says that he's gotten professional help and he's better now. Like, no, not even close. If, if this kind of tweet sets you off this much, you got a lot of work to do, buddy. For real. And then this is the last clip I have from this uh, response to the response to the response video. I got stuff on Anthony that I've never talked about. I I, I could easily yep. I could easily have a Still thousand Joe. people mm -hmm. uh, checking out this live stream on on a daily basis if I chose to go down that road and really get ugly. But I I, I chose not to. Oh right, because he's the better person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's the bigger man. He's yeah. the bigger man. Even though yeah. if you look at his YouTube channel, he's trashing Anthony, Jim Norton, <laughs> Sam Roberts, Joe Rogan. Yeah. No, but he's got the power. He won't abuse it. <laughs> I know. Isn't that insane? You're just like, I could ruin this guy with the information I know. Mm. I bet if you could, you would. That'd be my guess. I think you're lying. <laughs> yeah, good point. I think you're lying because you seem very upset about it. All Do right. you think that there is any information that could make Anthony Cumia's <laughs> reputation any worse? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's he going to come up with? He killed a guy once and I covered it up. He's buried in this beach behind me. <laughs> All right, well, that would be interesting. <laughs> that might be something. That's where Doggy is right now. <laughs> Stop digging up those bones, Doggy. <laughs> That's our secret. Are you finished with the Opie? Can we no. move on? No, because I got to yeah. talk about Opie with Cardiff Electric. Oh, that's okay. Okay, are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cardiff has been on Opie a few times. He's, he's pretty much the co-host of the show now, which is insane. <laughs> Yeah, don't blow it for me. I'm here. not going to blow it for you, buddy. Okay. I don't think I can. Because once we get to the exciting conclusion of this, it turns out Opie's fine with this. But 
the way this episode starts off, Opie, it's probably because I put up a YouTube video a couple days ago that was about having uh, Cardiff on the Opie show. Mm -hmm. And listen, I'm not saying that Opie's like seeking me out or anything like that. I don't think he is. But the way the algorithm works, if your name is Opie and there's a video with 10,000 views that says Opie, blah, 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 it might show up for you, you know, just saying. So this is funny because it starts off with Opie's like, all right, Cardiff, I like you, but you got some splaining to do. I've been hearing some things about who you're aligned with. I like you, Cardiff Electric. I like you too, Opster. And I like the vegetables. You guys have def definitely added a little pep to my live stream. Certainly want to try to continue with you guys, but we got to get we got to get through a couple things there, Cardiff Electric. I'm an open book, Opster. <laughs> what? You're an open book. You're hiding yes. behind a, 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 an a avatar. Filter. <laughs> you claim to be from Minnesota when you're Canadian. What do you mean you're an open no, book? You're the opposite of that. No, I'm a, I'm an open book. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> The fact that Opie didn't call you out for that immediately is hilarious. Oh, yeah, man. Everyone knows everything about me. We don't know your name. No one even knows your fucking real name. I'm an open book. <laughs> it's hysterical. All right. So Opie, um, Opie realized that he, so he went to look up some tweets that Cardiff had put out and saw that he couldn't see them because he had muted Cardiff on Twitter. And so now he's going to ask Cardiff, like, why is that? Why do you think Un I would have muted new you? Ha new hashtag, unmute Cardiff. Un yes, unmute <laughs> Cardiff. And it's funny because, and I, I think this is real, Cardiff's like, well, there's so many reasons why you might have muted me. I, there's no way I can possibly know. Did you start trashing me because I didn't go on your podcast? Are you asso associated with a podcast that obsessively takes shots at me? Oh, well, that's, yes, that, that, no, I'm absolutely, I'm not going to deny that. What? I'm, I'm associated with a podcast that takes shots at you, yes. Which one? Do you want me to say it? I, it's an open book. If we're going to have this conversation, I want to have the conversation. W-A-T-P. <laughs> Gotta whisper it. I, that's... Uh, I whispered it. What? But I whispered. <laughs> Here's the deal with W-A-T-P. I've never heard one second of uh, the podcast, and that is the God's mm -hmm. last truth. And people could think that I'm lying, but I'm not. I think you're lying because he called it W-A-T-P and not Who Are These Podcasts. Right. But yeah. also, why did he have all those qualifiers? That's the God honest truth. People think I'm lying. Sure. I'm not lying. This is an open book. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I say something that's just true, I don't qualify it eight times. Yeah. By the way, what I just said is actually true, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know, that is true. I swear on my mother. <laughs> it's so insane. So then Opie rehashes that he doesn't respect me because all I do is goof on other shows and we don't do anything else. And Cardiff agrees to this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mm -hmm. Cardiff. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I do Team other Opie. shows, you know. I host other shows. You don't just make fun of podcasts. But according to Opie and Cardiff, that's all we can do. So Opie has no respect for me for that reason. Because Opie's figured out his angle on why he doesn't like us, even though we're doing Jacktober. Hmm. Is he goes, yeah, but we didn't only do Jacktober. That therefore we're better than Carl because Carl's used that as his sole show format for WATP. To be fair, I did call out his hypocrisy. Thank you. You know, you did. And, and by the way, yeah. Cardiff, we don't have a problem today because uh, there's a lot of things you said on this Phew. show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But wait for tomorrow. Because <laughs> Vinny told me this morning, he's like, oh, wait till you see what Cardiff said on, on Opie's show. There's going to be a problem. I'm like, what? What the fuck? So then I watched it like, oh, no, actually, Cardiff was pretty cool. Um, so all right, let's get let's get into the next thing here. Uh, Opie wants to know what what the beef is here. So what's his big beef with me that he took so many shots at me? Where is the beef? For so long. Well, no, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's beef. I think it's content. He knows he can look. As I said, I was a big Opie and Anthony fan, <laughs> and I found WATP because of its uh, 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 similarity to Jocktober. So I think Carl understands that a lot of the people. Uh, watching and listening are there for the same reasons. They were O and A fans, and he knows if he can uh, bring some Opster uh, into the show, it uh, gets clicks. So you, uh, GH, are what's known as clickbait. Someone's writing uh, WATP. We'll talk about this. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not stupid, and I don't care. 
<laughs> well, I think you're lying about both those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're stupid both and you do care. <laughs> <laughs> Just a possibility. So here's what here's the angle that Opie takes here. And and Cardiff, if, if if you want to remain mute on any of this, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna say okay. my piece. So what Opie's trying to do is he's trying to equate me to the pest that ruined his life. So at this point, he <laughs> Cardiff we did go away. So at this point, Opie goes into whack bag and Reddit and how toxic these uh, platforms were and how everyone in there who were fans of the show then turned on everyone on the show. And he had to stop reading those places because it would bump him out. Everyone just calling out Opie or whoever they were turning on at that point. And okay, I get it. That sucks. That's not fun. It's not fun having uh, hundreds of thousands of people all turn on you who were fans of yours. So now uh, Opie is going to uh, give us a lecture here. Fast forward today. Now I know there's a podcast that, you know, takes shots at me and, and, and they find the one, one minute or a couple minutes of this live stream. That's a little goofy or a little like dead. And then they, and then they, you know, played and beat the shit out of me. I, mm-hmm. I, I know it is happening, but I don't click on it. And you don't have to. That's the beauty of America. Yeah, but you're associated with that guy. <laughs> yes. I'm associated with lots of guys. I don't know, bro. I don't think it's the road you want to go down, I'll be honest with you. I mean, you do what you have to do, but mm-hmm. you got, you know, you got you're entertaining and you and you Thank definitely you. bring uh you definitely bring content. Well, I have to say without uh WATP, uh <clears throat> I don't think I would ever have gotten eyes on myself. <laughs> like a potato. Right. That joke went over everyone's <laughs> head. By the way, that was a good joke, Cardiff. Thank you. Opie did not pick up on that at all. I would have got nice on myself. Opie was like, all right, that's fine. I don't know they gave me exposure. But you did you did skip the part where I did vehemently defend all the dabblers, the WATP oh, audience. No, I, I have uh, that. Even yourself. Yeah, oh, no, 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 I have that. I, have that I thought that was before. Oh, okay. Um how many times have you watch this video? <laughs> <laughs> oh, on every every time Opie reclips it, I watch it again. I got to get his views up. Yeah, all the views are me. I love that Opie thinks you're too good for us. Like that's his ego right there. He's like, listen, now yeah. you're a fun potato. I don't know why you're hanging out with those kids. It's like he was gonna say, do a clean act, kid. Do a clean yeah, act. Yeah, right. You don't have to wear glue. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So it turns out now I'm gonna turn on you for a second here, Cardiff, and then you bring it back mm. around. This is where Cardiff is just a star fucker. <laughs> and it, 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 no loyalty here at all. It was just confusing to me because there's way more people watching WATP than, than Opie's show, but Cardiff's oh, ready oh, to... Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Look what's behind you. Yeah. Look what's behind Opie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Where do you think I want to be this summer? <laughs> all right. I see what you're saying. All right, let's check this out. Opie, right now, Ooh. I am willing to trade in. Uh, I will kick... WATP for, <laughs> to the curb for you. If we make a deal today, live on the air, I will I will kick Carl's ass for you. <laughs> what the fuck? Metaphorically. I know, metaphorically, I, know, I, I, know. <laughs> I just, uh, it's not like I need loyalty, but I just thought like Cardiff was more reasonable than this. It doesn't even make sense to leave mm. WATP for the uh, OP radio show. Hmm. I don't know. It's on, a star on the rise. <laughs> star on the rise. His viewers are going up. That is for sure. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is fun because now Cardiff is saying he's going to leave my show, which will be the end of WATP. We could not function with, without Cardiff. Correct. <laughs> if I leave his show, his show will go down the tubes. I don't want go nowhere without me. I honestly don't want anything to be done to the guy. You know, if that's how he's trying to make a living, so be it. I just want to be completely honest. I, 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 I did know the connection, by the way. I was, I was waiting to see if you would uh, say that. And it, I'm not gonna lie, it bummed me out because I, I know the guy like really goes out of his way to take shitty shots at me, and uh, and I'm here to say I don't respect it at all. I don't respect that type of uh, of broadcasting if that's all you have. All right. So, mm-hmm. I mean, Cardiff is being tongue in cheek there. So I don't want that slide, obviously. That's, that's funny. But um, what's great here is that Opie knew Cardiff was associated with WATP, mm-hmm. but wanted Cardiff to admit it. Like, he's the one who's calculated. He talks about how Anthony's calculated. It was a test. Yeah, it was a test to see 
what who he's loyal to, which is very weird to test a, a potato. And the other thing that's happening here, though? and I'm interested in your take on this card, is that Opie's trying to play this balancing act of criticizing me for what the show is and what we do, but also saying he's never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never heard me. Well, we have a clip coming up where he says he's never heard the show at all. He's only seen one photo of me. It's very Patrick Michael-esque mm-hmm. what he's doing, which is odd. It's hard to say, like, I don't like that guy. I don't respect him. Have you ever heard it? No. No idea. Okay. Well, again, he. I think he gets a lot of his... Um, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, feedback from Twitter and Instagram, possibly maybe some of his YouTube comments yeah. and, you know, he just decided that this is for him. Well, obviously he's pe- smart. He knows pe- people are trying to rile him up. So they're going to tell him whatever's going to get him pissed off and, and fired up. And he should know that by now he's, hmm. he's been around for a while. And again, I just want to say, I don't just do a Jocktober style show. I also fawn over Tourette's girls on WATS, mm-hmm. and I blame victims on the creep off. So I'm not a one trick pony. That's three. That's three things I can do. The trifecta. That's right. What else is there? He never, he never said he had a problem with who are these socials. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. It's only WATP. Yes. All right. So now this is a super chat saying that uh, it's just ball busting, Opie. We're, we're all just having fun here. It's a roast, but uh, he can't go along with that. Obi, it's just busting balls. Laugh yourself more. It's getting more views for everyone. I, I, I mean, I, I, you, the, uh, I have a lot to say about that. People don't, you know, people really don't know what it's like to truly be. No offense to to the, these shows. They they have no idea. They have literally no idea uh, what happens when you have real fame. Let's just put it that way. All right, so. Obi didn't know how to react to that, and now he's sticking with this thing where it's like, yeah, but other people have actually done really bad shit to me in my life. It's like, well, I'm not that guy. Yeah. No one from WATP's universe is that guy. We're all just having fun. It's just a, a roast style show. And honestly, it would be interesting if Opie did just say, you know what? I've come around on this. Everyone, it seems to be like everyone's having fun. I'm watching MLC lately. There's a lot of ball busting. They're making fun of Ray DeVito, and then Ray DeVito comes on the show, and vice versa. You know, like he could have like leaned into this a little bit. Yeah. But instead, he goes on to talk about how he has orders of protection and security. People <laughs> oh. come into his house. He brings up the lawsuits over the Bam Margera rumors with his wife and all this shit that we have nothing to do with, of course. Also, things that don't elicit sympathy from anybody. Well, right. I know. It's like when you're as famous as I am, no. I have to pay some of my millions of dollars for security. Like, oh, okay. Either laugh at yourself or broadcast better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you on that. So Cardiff, of course, doesn't want to defend me. No. <laughs> but he does defend me very reluctantly here. <laughs> well, Defending I will the say, show I, in I, general, I, not you specifically. Okay, thanks. I already said reluctantly, Cardiff. We get it. <laughs> Well, I will say, I, I, I don't now, I do not want to be a Carl defender. That's not uh, something I ever want to do. You can uh, say whatever you want. No, 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 no. I don't want to defend. But <laughs> uh, he, he would never, and he does uh, very clearly say, you know, just observe and report. Just enjoy the show. Watch the show. Don't get involved, uh, you know, with people in their real lives. Because there have been uh, incidents with other shows where people, you know, there's been swatting incidents. There's been, you know, uh, doxing incidents, and he's very clear on that. Like, he just wants to have fun for for an hour, making fun of somebody, and and move on from there. Right. So aside from any of that stuff, I don't think any of that is uh, WATP. And I will say, the WATP uh, universe, the Dabbleverse, uh, they are a they are a very welcoming community. Good job, Cardiff. I don't say that often mm-hmm. enough. Obviously. Mm-hmm. You did well. You know how many there. hand jobs I got at DabbleCon? Wonderful people. You did well there because it would have been very easy for you to just, yeah, fuck these assholes. <laughs> they are a problem. I agree with you. But Opie's being unreasonable here, where he's complaining about all the problems. Like every problem he has in life is mine and Anthony's fault somehow. I don't think that's true, Ope. If if I could get the Opster on your show, would you have him? I think at this point I would. In the past, I would have said no. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I think at this point, it'd be fun. I think we could have a conversation. Okay, I'll try and build a bridge. Wow, could you imagine if Cardiff's the reason why Opie comes on WATP? Well, people are people are like uh, wondering if I'll be the bridge that gets Opie and Anthony back together. I don't think I can accomplish that. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> so. I might, 
I might get two Rochester boys to have yes. a conversation. A couple so. Bills fans. Yeah, that seems yes. more possible. I'll come over for a game sometime. We can watch it together. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I think that'd be great. Open, come on the show. I'll kiss his ass. I'll act like, oh, no, it was all just jokes. I love you. You know, I think you're great. I was totally doing a character. Bus. Yeah, no, I'll do all that stuff, and then I'll totally zoom out at the next episode. Fuck that guy. He sucks. Okay, not helping my cause. Oh, I'm, I mean, uh, I'm not two-faced at all. Missy B pointed out, so he's complaining about paying for security. I didn't pull that clip, but you heard it when you were on the show. He's like, I had to bring security with me everywhere I go. He couldn't even pay for parking. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe you should pay for parking <laughs> instead of security or, or both. I don't know. It just seems odd to me that he's hanging out in his car for an hour and a half every day and broadcasting. So everyone who hates him knows that's where he is. <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right. So um, so this uh, this shuts down Opie's argument. You saying like, well, you know, I, I understand you've had some some tough go with fans and, and these uh, these psychos out there. But WTP aren't those people. The people who like WTP aren't those people. Carl keeps it, makes it very clear that that's not what we're about. But Opie continues. He pushes right through all the, the reasonable things that uh, Cardiff is trying to tell him here. Uh, maybe I should explain that more. But the stuff I, I had to deal with because I was part of the Opie and Anthony show, it was uh, very time-consuming, very expensive at times. Um, and, and harassment that I don't think any of you guys will – no offense, we'll ever understand fully. But you got to understand had, that's that's not coming from WATP people. That's, no, I understand. No, yeah. I understand that. You know, there's there's a, there's a guy out there. He's, you know, we have an order of protection for the second time. He has uh, threatened my kids uh, more okay. than once. It's not to do with anything. This is the real shit that happens yeah. out there. What happened to the fun? Mm. So yeah. it's hard to just laugh at all Come of on. it. To I'm be not- honest with you, that's understandable. But it's not. It's it's. I think you have to separate the two things. Yes. Again, Cardiff, props. I mean, uh, Opie, calm down, buddy. This isn't us. We're not the problem here. I'm not the one who's hanging out in your uh, your building waiting for you to come down the elevator shaft. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're doing well, I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> so um, this is Opie doing the Patrick Michael routine almost verbatim. This is almost word for word. What Patty Seacup said about us like a, a year or two ago. I, uh, I know that I know that sh- I know of that show. Mm-hmm. I know they've tried to get attention on my live stream for years. I know that I've never clicked on any of it. I couldn't tell you what his voice sounds like. I, I saw a picture with him. I saw a picture of him once. I yep. think he wears glasses, and I think oh, he's, he's a big from, dork. And I think he's from Rochester. Yeah, big dork from Rochester. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's what I know. Do you remember Patty Seacuff saying the exact same thing? I don't even know what his voice sounds like. I've never heard his show. Does he think he's like hurting my feelings with this? <laughs> we have enough listeners, Opie. I don't need you. It's fine. Was no, the dork we... thing going too far, Carl? No, it's fine. I'm trying to dance a fine line I here. get it. Yeah. I get it. You want to play both sides. I understand. Piece of shit. Playing the long, the long con. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of yeah. shit. <laughs> All right. Um, so Cardiff, actually, you go on to tell Opie to watch our show, which I thought was pretty crazy because you're like, no, the show's actually, they're kind of fun. Maybe you should watch it sometime. And, uh, Opie's not having that, but Cardiff has an idea. I will say maybe you might want to just give it a shot. It's not all about you. No, uh, I, don't, I, I mean, I, he might even be doing a great podcast. I've, I, he might even be doing better numbers than me. I, I could, I couldn't tell you any of that. Um, I, ha- I have, I have a proposal. Let's yeah. you and me. Let's do an episode where we Jocktober WATP. Nah, I'll bring I, in a I, video. We can make fun of him for an hour. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Uh, he, he's going to be like, uh, "Can can I have Ant? <laughs> can Anthony come on and do all the jokes?" Yeah, I'm going to need Colin <laughs> Quinn and Bill Burr. Yeah. And I'm going to need a team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> can I just work the board? While the <laughs> yeah. I'll take phone team. calls. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I love that idea, though. I'm glad that you uh, asked him to do that. It's funny. And then, because honestly, I think what Curtis is saying is just like, it's not that serious, Opie. Like, you're taking this very personally. It's not personal. And Opie says he isn't sure how he's how to take it. He's not sure how to deal with this, obviously. And I just think it would be great 
if there was some type of uh, of a redemption thing with Opie. And then I just yeah. saw that I muted you, and I'm like, I want to know, I want to see, first of all, if he's going to be honest with me, and you were. Yes. And I just wanted to talk it out, that's all. I'm, yes. not asking you, I'm not asking you to stop doing WATP. I'm not asking you for anything. I just wanted to to see what it was all about. And then- Do you hear that, Dr. Steve? You can be on both shows, according to OP. That's good news. <laughs> should reach no, out just to me. him. Oh, just, just Cardiff. Mm-hmm. Cardiff's the only one that's allowed on both shows. Okay. To see what it was all about, and then I could make you know some dumb decision on my yeah. own. Well, yeah, OP, uh, I gotta say, um, in the in the world in the W in the dabble verse, we'll call it uh, what you've done right now by not just kicking me off as soon as I said WATP, you've earned some respect, and I think you'll be getting some more respect from that world. Well, I literally uh, have, you know, there's been so many lies about me out there. Like, Name seven. <laughs> well done because right there like you're trying to say like opie you're on the path to a redemption arc here like you're playing along you're having fun with it you're talking about carl directly he's only done this one other time and it, you know he seems like he's well kind of as cool as opie can be about it and immediately opie has to bring it right back to yeah but people are spreading yeah. lies and <laughs> i've been hurt yeah it's like yeah but that has nothing to do with this man and Carl told him that like five different times yeah, but that's not what this is. That's not what this is. So lean into it. It's fine. And then when you said, like, name seven lies, I'm looking up at both fucking potatoes. I can't, I don't even know which one to look at. <laughs> then when he I'm says, you now. <laughs> <laughs> when he says, name seven, the first example he goes to is the Greg Shells thing. He's like, well, you know, Anthony talking about Greg Shells. Like, I've talked to a lot of people who worked with Opie. That's definitely a true thing. They didn't all make up this conspiracy. About Opie being uh, difficult to work with when he's in a bad mood. All right, one more uh, clip from this, and this is what this is the video that Opie put together from the live stream. He, he condensed it down to 18 minutes, and uh, this is when the the other vegetables join. And I just wanted to play this because because Corn Diff is a fan, and I appreciated him because I could tell that he's like a little bit nervous to admit this to Opie, but I appreciate Corn Diff. You're you're a cool ear of corn, buddy. The potatoes tackle the hard hitting issues. I, I'm not sh- never sure what direction he's wanting to go with this, and him being so closely affiliated with Carl, I uh, I'm, I'm hesitant to just jump on that bandwagon. Listen, yeah, three Car- hand jobs doesn't mean closely affiliated. Yeah, that's why I said <laughs> I, that's why I said I, I appreciate his honesty, but I don't know how I feel about it because I, I think Carl is a really shitty person towards me, and I think it has gone way past the. You never let's even have heard a my voice. Fun. With this guy, you know, he did uh, he did a, a lot of material on me, a lot. Mm. So I don't. How much? So that's that's the problem I'm having this morning, of course. So of I, course, I gotta say, I Carl is a big part of what influenced the corn to become um, an online personality. I mm. I was was a fan of WATP. I still am, I guess, but um, mm. of WATP for quite a while. And um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> we inspired corn to go online and be the, the most corn, corn potatoes. The most corn that the corn could be. That's uh that's a proud moment right there. It's very exciting. So yeah, that's yeah. It, you know what I mean though, Cardiff, where Opie and you don't have to respond to this. I know you're friends of both shows. Where Opie wants to do this thing where he's just like, Yeah, but Carl's an asshole. And I've never even heard his show and I don't listen to him. I don't know what he looks like. Well, then you're just hearing the second hand, which means Maybe you don't know what we're doing on this show. and Yeah, pick a lane. Pick a lane, man. Like, figure it out. Because for so long, he didn't acknowledge us, and he pretended he didn't know anything about us. And so now he's being confronted with, ah, I like Cardiff at my show. He's fun. Everyone seems to enjoy it. I'm getting super chats. But he's also on Carl's show, so he doesn't know what to do with this. I think he's having a hard time. How's this going to play out, Cardiff? I don't know. I'll see if I can build that bridge, though. But. Okay. You will have to do one thing before he comes on your show. Okay, what's that? Uh, you will have to take his side view mirrors off your wall and send them back to him. <laughs> Come on! My trophy case! Come on! <laughs> yes. I already said Zumox got him. My pride and joy. <laughs> oh, dude, if Zumox had him, he would have sold him for money a long time ago. <laughs> you know those 50s that he pulls up in front of the camera? That's, what he, that's where he got those from. <laughs> he's did, make did you hear my uh, Casey Armstrong interview? Oh, no, I haven't checked that out yet. How was it? Yes. Well, apparently, a Chad Zumok, uh, Casey Armstrong once helped Chad Zumok change a flat tire. Oh, yeah? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe Chad doesn't know how to jack up a car. Mm-hmm. Is that a euphemism? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why it fell on his face. Carl. That's all that proves. Yeah. <laughs> He's well, bad. You at put it. the pieces together, Carl. You put the pieces together. <laughs> all right, I'll have to check out. There's so much. Curtis was on with Harrison Young. That just dropped today or yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got to watch that still. I was going to pull clips of that, but it's just like, how much Cardiff can we do? I watch so it the out. Casey Armstrong interview is on Casey's YouTube channel now, so you can go see it there or on my Patreon. Okay. So Casey yeah. Armstrong with Cardiff on Casey's channel, Cardiff with Harrison Young on Harrison Young's channel, mm-hmm, whatever mm-hmm. that community access thing is that he has. <laughs> but I watched the beginning of that. I got to get through the rest of it. Um, always fun to watch Harrison Young try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> potato on potato action. <laughs> Who are these Cardiffs? <laughs> W-A-T-C. You can't have that. Cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you?